My boy pageant fans, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G, how are you all doing? So let's talk about the introduction videos of the Miss Universe Philippines ladies this year. I had a blast getting to know all our candidates in these short videos, so I am excited to vlog some of them here. How I wish I could interview all 54 of them in the competition here on my YouTube channel kasi aliw na aliw talaga akong panoorin silang lahat. So my basis for choosing my topics here is how these girls showcase their personalities here. And hindi lang basta sila umaura-aura. Their personalities have to connect or impact me in such a way I will remember something about them so significant even after this round or even after the competition is over. There are 14 ladies who caught my attention here and here they are. So now let's start. Number 14 on my list here is Steffi Herona from Quirino Province. This girl really shines in her simplicity. Despite only showing herself in this video, the fun facts that she revealed about herself is enough to make us interested to get to know her on a deeper level. She is a, ma um, she is a mom who is an entrepreneur, scuba diver, registered nurse, and a self-confessed foodie. And I just love how she is so authentic here. And watching her video here makes me realize that you don't need to be flashy with your intro videos, but for as long as you radiate or breathe authenticity at pinapakita mo na totoong tao ka with no pretenses, it's enough to make you a standout. And now we go to my 13th spot and I'm giving it to Christy McCary from Taguig. This girl is so laid back and, it's, and, and it is so evident with her demeanor here. Very cool, calm, and collected in sharing her multifaceted personality. She is a TV host, model, DJ, and a businesswoman who loves the beach. And it's a great video that highlights Christy's myriad of interests in life. However, the reason why I am ranking her here is because I am biased. I already know all these things about her beforehand, so I was really expecting a new fun fact that she would like to share to us for a change, but that's just me. Imagine siguro if she goofs around and makes fun of herself here in this video at the same time, that would have been way cooler. And now we go to my 12th spot and I'm giving it to Joanne Thornley from Angeles City, Pampanga. Oh how this lady is really smittening me after watching her video. I did not know that this lady has a flair for fashion, so I thoroughly enjoyed watching her share something about herself here. And I also love the fact that she also dressed up for the occasion to emphasize her point of being a fashionista. That she doesn't love to dress up, but she is also the one designing her dresses. All of it. So now, I have something to talk about with Joanna next time I see her. It's really a great conversation starter. And now we go to my 11th spot and I'm giving to Kayla Jean Carter from Northern California. The thing I love about Kayla Jean in this competition is that she really doesn't rely on her face to get ahead. Since meeting her in MUPH, she has really struck me as someone very kind and approachable. And it also spills off on her introduction video here in Miss Universe Philippines. I know God has blessed her with a stunning face, with an enviable figure, but she doesn't want us to see her just like that. Instead, she really tries her best to shed off her sexy image by sh sharing little bits or pieces of her life from time to time. Like for example, in this video, she shared that she loves the outdoors and how she managed to renovate her camper one summer season. It all the more made me realize that she is more than just a pretty face as she has life skills to share. It was something that I wasn't totally expecting from Kayla. Plus, her voice, the way she speaks now, has this air of humility that she is not here to brag or throw off her weight in this pageant, but instead, she just lets her humility and down-to-earthness do the talking here. And now we go to my 10th spot. Top 10, I'm giving it to Anita Rose Gomez from Zambales. I just love her video here, I swear. Anita is really out to prove that she is more than just a sexy figure in this competition as the fun facts she shared about herself really made me smile. Her ROTC and athletic background is something that she hardly discloses to us pageant media, so it's really refreshing to see this 
Plus, her being a frustrated singer just adds up to how much I am adoring Anita right now. So watching her video here made me feel like she doesn't take herself too seriously and is willing to let her hair down from time to time. So ang aliw, lumalabas talaga yung personality dito ni Anita. So gustong gusto ko talaga tong video niya, kahit napaka simple lang. And now we go to my ninth spot and I'm giving it to Christina Chuck from the Filipino community of United Kingdom. This lady is really growing in everyone's list and this video effectively conveys that. And what I love about Christina's video here is that how she is so intentional with her narrative here as a modern Filipina who has lived abroad and ha but has never forgotten to help the people out in her community. That it's okay to ask for help. That it's okay to feel alone as she said. And this last line was truly powerful. And more than her Filipiniana outfit here, it kind of sends shivers down to my spine with her goal of showcasing her authentic self as a Filipina to the whole universe. Christina really means, Christina really means business here in Miss Universe Philippines. And now we go to my eighth spot and I'm giving it to Mary Josephine Pasque from Talisay Cebu. You know what? I know she just made a very simple video here, but she was still able to effectively articulate herself with all these interesting fun facts about her. Her being a multilingual and how she switches to different language and introducing herself here. Wow, grabe. Naaliw ako. Maybe it's also because nadadala niya talaga tayo sa ganda ng mukha niya. So ang sarap-sarap niyang pagmasdan dito sa video. Litaw na litaw talaga yung ganda ng mukha niya dito at yung personality niya, more importantly. And now I'm beginning to think that if this lady doesn't win MUPH this year, this girl could really go to showbiz afterwards. Ang pretty talaga niya talaga dito. And now we go to my seventh spot and I'm giving it to Juvel Magubat Dukay from Bantayan Island, Cebu. This girl really caught my attention as well. I just love how fun and upbeat the treatment of her video for this round in sharing more about herself in terms of her profession and the things that she loves to do. And oh my God, ang sporty pala niya! And hindi ko yun masyadong alam kasi ako ang alam ko lang sa kanya. She is only a medical doctor. So we all know how serious is that for a profession for a profession. But here in this video, she was able to showcase more of her personality and more likely her grit to win the title. So go Juvel, spike it for the crown. And now we go to my sixth spot and I'm giving it to Stacy Gabriel from Kainta Rizal. I feel most grounded when I put my pen to paper. Damn, this girl is just so articulate and never fails to impress me with her wit. And this video perfectly sums up that. She was very bubbly and charming here. Stacy is just a pure joy to watch here. The way she talks and shares us a glimpse of her favorite things in life is just so cap captivating. And the best part about it, that she puts everything to paper to vividly put it in her core memory. So makapag-manifestation journal na nga din ako para maging eloquent queen na rin ako katulad niya. And now we go to my top 5 and number 5 on my list here is Hawaii's Patricia Bianca Tapia. Oh, this girl's video really puts a smile on my face. It was another video which made me get to know this lady whom I am about to interview in a little while. She, di she discloses her hearing disability here but does not want to be seen as a pity case. So she goes on with her life and makes the most out of it. I just love it because she was able to portray herself as a woman who doesn't want to be defined by her circumstances in life but instead deals with it, tackles her problem head on, learns to adjust with it and makes the most out of it. It is just very endearing and touching. Bianca Tapia here is just so humble. And now we go to my fourth spot and I'm giving it to Alexi Brooks from Iloilo City. This lady is just so beautiful and strong and it is perfectly highlighted here in this video. What I like about Alexi here in this video is that she is smiling throughout the entire video. And it is my first time to see Alexi smile like that. And it's very charming. It really gets to me. Apart from that, I also love the fact that she is very simple and humble with her demeanor here. 
in introducing herself as an athlete who has already competed internationally. She did, kung napansin nyo, the way she sounded, she did not brag about it, but used it as an example how it made her develop so many positive traits and qualities in life, like determination and perseverance. She, na she really shines in her own simplicity and that smile. I hope to see more of that in her next outings. Kasi ang fierce na mga photos niya sa, sa social media since the start of her introduction here in MUPH, di ba? And now we go to my third spot and I'm giving it to Maristela Lat from Batangas City. Oh my God, this video truly caught my attention as to how it was very light and cute in showcasing herself in this video. I was really able to get to know this, Batange this Batangenya more in the way she connected her love for food with her different traits. Ang clever ng idea niya dito in execution. Hence, ang natural niyang panoorin dito sa video. No pretenses then, just someone who has a lovable personality. This lady really caught my attention by delivering something different. So I really love your video here, Maristela. And now we go to my runner-up of this list, and I'm giving it to, no surprise, Victoria Velasquez Vincent from Bacoor City, Cavite. Oh gosh, VVV is really on a roll this season with her winning entries one after the other. Grabe! You can really feel that she really wants to win. The way she puts so much effort and emphasis in all her output, whether for her headshot or her intro video this time around. And I just love how she endeared herself all the more to us here in this video by picking up from the last scene of her video last 2021 with that Kita Kits Uli Tayo ha, and brings it back with quite a nostalgia at the start of her video for this round this year. Hence, there was a connection to us right away. And I felt it. She is our sentimental MUP queen. Kasi, di ba? Sa MUP talaga naman natin siya nakilala ng gusto. So it felt like going back to her roots again. And even the way, napansin nyo, the way she moved around with her videographer here, there was so much effort. Yung, yung choreography niya, ng pag-ikot-ikot, ng likod niya, or even her blocking here to make her messages come across effectively was very spot on. And it felt very personable and relatable at the same time. You can see that she was just relaxed and having fun in this video, devoid of any pressure she might be feeling in this competition at the moment. I know she might, you know, I know that she doesn't have that distinctive Filipina look, but her genuine love and patriotism for our country were really captured through her words and actions here in this video. Tagos talaga sa puso. Well done, VVV. And now we go to my winner of this list, and I'm giving it to Atisa Manala from Quezon Province. No words. Atisa really wins this round by a mile just by how simple yet effective this short intro video she had for us in this round. Because she was able to showcase a side we haven't seen of her, which is her being playful and childlike in real life. Now beneath her ultra fierce persona and projections here in MUP events so far, Atiza makes us feel that she is also grounded by making us go down memory lane with her childhood memories. Turns out her love for text cards and jollens during her younger years played an important role in the course that she took up in college up to the time that she became a successful woman in those 40 seconds she was able to connect with us with her life story and it was a happy childhood memory and the transition was very seamless too even her ending here is very clever by saying winner which sums up how i feel for her in this video hence she's my runway winner for this round so there you go, guys. What do you think about my list? As you can see, I tried my best to look past the front runners and include other candidates who really caught my attention for this round. Because for me, it was really important that these ladies connected to me for various reasons, which explains their inclusion here in my list. There were other great personalities I saw, like Davao Region, who has an interesting profile, kung hindi lang masyadong uh, webcam or pixelated yung video niya. Miss Kananga as well. I love her young Mystica split and, yeah, or reference. And Miss Leite, who are also both charming in their respective right. So what do you think? Alright guys, until my next video. Bye!